The Auto HDR feature got removed when the native Series X and Series S versions of Fallout 4 came out. Thankfully, this display feature was added in a patch update. So if you haven't done so already, download the latest patch for Fallout 4. Once the new update has been installed, you should make sure that you have HDR10 enabled in the Xbox Settings menu. You can do so by going to Settings, General, TV and Display Options, and Video Modes. The Auto HDR setting here does not matter as it is only used for backwards compatible Xbox games. When you relaunch the game, Auto HDR should be enabled. If you find this guide helpful, then you can support this channel by clicking on the like button of this video.